Okay, I've touched on it in a couple of my other videos, but I want to specifically show you how to use ChatGPT to create images like these, or you can create abstract images or comic book images or really anything that you want. This is one I made this morning that I really love. I find that ChatGPT makes some pretty incredible fantasy style images. I want to show you how you can use ChatGPT to run a simple prompt get images, but then where you can go from there, how to elaborate or simplify or change the change the styling, whatever it is that you want. So in order to do this, you're going to need ChatGPT Plus or ChatGPT4. I guess now they have ChatGPT Enterprise. You're using a paid version of ChatGPT. Or you have a third party software that you're subscribed to that's pro, that's um, powered by ChatGPT and you're able to create the images. So for what we're doing today to create those images, you're gonna need the ChatGPT4, so you're gonna to have to upgrade, like I said, and you're gonna to wanna to check off Dolly 3. So this is, Dolly 3 is our image creator and it works right within ChatGPT. So you do not have to go get a plugin or an extension or anything to do with this first part of what we're gonna do. I am gonna bring in an, a, a, another free extension to show you how to elaborate to get even fancier. But let's just keep this really simple for those of you that are just beginning. So to get to ChatGPT, you go to chat.openai.com, chat.openai.com, sign up for an account. To get to the images, you're going to pay for the upgrade, and then you're going to be able to see it here. Make sure Dolly 3 has a check mark next to it. If it's checked off anywhere else, it won't run the image editor, okay? So you're going to need to check off Dolly 3 for that to work. The next thing you need to do is tell it to make you a photo, make you a photo, make you an image. If you just start typing like woman training a dog, it's going to start to write an explanation of a woman training a dog. Instead, we're going to tell it to make an image. So starting with the absolute simplest of directions, how we're going to give chat GPT, chat GPT directions, we call those prompts, right? It's like a request or a command or an order. We're telling you what we want. So here I'm just going to say, give me a, give me an image of a woman training a puppy. So you're a pet blogger and you're writing a blog about a woman training a puppy. Let's see what it gives us. So what you're going to see next is you're going to see this Dolly 3 and it's going to tell you it's creating images. Now, when you're using ChatGPT 4.0 or ChatGPT Plus, I believe you can only do 50, what is it? Now I forgot I got out of there. You can only run 50 prompts, I think it is in four hours, and then it'll tell you that you've timed out. So you're gonna keep that in mind when you start playing with these images, that the better you get at giving it specific directions on the front end, you will have to prompt it less, taking up some of those requests. Okay, so for example, that was one just now. Now if we revise this, it's gonna be two. And if you get to 50 in a certain amount of time, it's going to time out until you have to go in and come back later. Okay. And I'm going to show you how to kind of get past that in a minute. But by default, you're going to get these square images. So these are going to be good for your Instagram posts. It could be good for Facebook Reel. If you're looking for blog images that are wider, we're going to have to tell it specifically what we want. Okay. So let's just pretend we do want this for our blog. What we're going to do instead is we're going to say make these images... 16, 9. That's the ratio, right? 16, 9. I didn't put that in the first prompt because I want to show you exactly what these little pieces do so that you have a better understanding rather than just reading this long prompt that makes no sense to you. Okay, so our first step was give me an image of a woman training a puppy and it gave us that those images very quickly. Then our second prompt is make these images 16.9 and what 16 um, nine ratio. And that's going to give us the, the wide horizontal, shorter vertical, that it's going to be wide, that is better for a featured blog image or YouTube. So there you go. Now, as you can see, it did not take that exact same Im image and make it a 16.9. So it's best to start off telling ChatGPT what size you want. If you want a longer image, you could say, make me a long Pinterest style image, or you can give it the exact ratio, okay? So whatever you tell it is how it's gonna make the size of your image. 
I am going to show you in a couple of minutes how to use a Chrome extension that makes that easier. But just, just say we're just using this right now, and th then this is what you need to look at, okay? Now, you can start playing with this image and saying things like, make it more fun. Or you can say, make it whimsical, okay? Or make it softer. You can use adjectives that are going to train ChatGPT for the for this use case on, on how you want it to make the image better. And it will continue to revise and give you new options. Sometimes it's just gonna give you a new option altogether. And you might go, shoot, well, that I liked what I started with. But look at this. Okay, now the only problem I have with this is it, it, it almost looks like, I mean, those she's got weights here in addition to the, the dog products. That might not be exactly what we want, okay? Now, you're kind of getting the idea here, but let me show you if you, this is what's going to happen if you don't know how to use prompts. You're going to get results, but... Mm -hmm. They're not, they may not be exactly what you're looking for. So here's my cheat because I'm not phenomenal at giving it the directions it needs to make a fantastic image because I'm not a graphic designer. So instead, I use a Chrome extension called Harpa. It's H-A-R-P-A uh, dot A-I. There's a link below in the description. At this moment that I'm making this video, could be different when you're watching it, but when I'm making this, this is a free extension you don't there's nothing i'm not affiliated with them or make any money on them you don't have to pay for anything but i have heard them say that they're going to charge at some point so right now when and, and when i'm using this it's free so what i'm going to do now is i'm going to put this little slash right here and it's going to open a menu okay what i'm looking for is this generative ai and i'm looking for mid journey prompt wizard mid journey is like the original big AI text to image generator everybody's been using through the Discord server, okay? I like the way those prompts come out. So we're just gonna say, give me a quick prompt. Now watch what happens when I give this one a very simple prompt. Photo of a, oh, I'll be going to see photo because they already know they're drawing it. Woman training a puppy. We're gonna keep this really simple. Now here's what happens. You're gonna get a bunch of prompts that you can sample. In this particular case, we get photorealistic, okay? That's gonna give us kind of like a realistic one that's kind of got like a little bit of, a, of an animation look to it. Then we have artistic, surrealistic, comic book, which is one of my favorites. Cyberpunk, it's gonna be different all the time. If you know a style that you want to have it be in, you could put that in there. You could say, I want it to be black and white. I want it to look vintage or those types of things. But for the sake of this, watch how this looks. I'm going to take this first one. Here's our description. A woman in sporty attire, kneeling in a sunlit park, holding treats as she trains a lively golden retriever puppy that's attentively sitting and looking up at her. The environment is a bustling park filled with green trees and people enjoying a sunny day. The style is photorealistic, camera, Canon EOS. It's even telling you kind of like what the camera would look like, soft background. So I'm going to just click it and that will copy that prompt and I'm going to put it here and we're going to run it now. Now keep in mind, you don't need this extension to do anything that I just showed you, but you will have to learn how to prompt, how to get the best prompts out of chat GPT. If you like the what it's giving you out of the box, then go ahead and play with that. And you might just get good at it on your own. For me, this is just easier. It gives me multiple choices. And then what I usually do is I will pick one of those. Then I might do some revisions or some additions. So for example, while that's running right here, I started this. So this blog here is all about how to start a poetry blog. So I started with this photo. I, I said, make, uh, make it, I need an image of somebody that is starting a poetry, blo poetry blog and make it playful is what I think I said. And it gave me this kind of fantasy feel and I decided to go with it. I was like, you know, I love how ChatGPT handles fantasy images. So I'm going to go with it. Okay. So that was the first image. Then I said, I kept the first one, but then let me see where the other owl one is. 
kept that first one. I think it went into here. And then I said, now make it bloggers trying to find their poetry niche, something like that. And then look what it did. It stayed within that same fantasy feel, but then it put everybody in a shop here together looking for their niche. Or I might've even said community. Now this one here, I said, now revise it and make it about promoting a poetry blog. So now it puts everybody in the middle reading this poetry blog. So it stayed within that same vibe. And then this one, I said, monetizing a blog. So that's how we can keep moving through this, right? So let's go ahead and look at this now. Okay, here's the pic. Oh, that's so cute. Do you see the difference? I, I just outstanding to me how different this is. And I love these so many times right out of the box that I don't need to change anything. So I absolutely would use this image as is, okay? But let's say we want to play with this image a little bit. Instead, now let's see what we can do with it. So we're going to go with that one. Uh, we're going to say, okay, um, keeping with the feel of the second image, have her, let's see, teaching the puppy to catch. Okay. So it'll give us a new image. It's not just going to revise the one that we already did. It's going to give us a new image, but I'm hoping it stays within that same styling so that when we're creating a blog, we can make our featured blog photo. And then all of the photos after that will depict the new image we want, but we'll stay in that same vibe of that second one. Okay. So yeah, it did. Absolutely did. Now look, here she, here she is starting to catch. Now here's, this is scary. Look at her, look at her, how skinny she is. Or maybe she's supposed to be muscular. And then she kind of has man hands. So for me, I would probably go back and change that a little bit. Or if that might be the same girl, let's look at the second one. You know, she's real muscular. That could work. You know, it kind of looks like the first girl. So as long as she doesn't have extra fingers, sometimes, sometimes it does that. She's seated on the ground. So that's not bad. So we might use that one. And then let's just say, so now we've done, we're training a puppy. So she's feeding the puppy treats. Here she's uh, getting the puppy to catch. Okay, now make the woman teaching the puppy to roll over. I have no idea how it's going to do on that one. So now remember, every time you're doing these, it's counting towards those, I believe it is the 50 in the four hours, Okay. So, so we're going to look at this image in just a second. So you're getting the idea. If Let's just say these two where she's training them to catch. Let's just say you don't like either one. You could literally just say, try again. And it'll give you two new ones in the same feel. So you see the puppies glowing, the light background, the same park. We really are in it. It's like a photo series, right? If you will. Okay, so here we go. So now we've got a different girl right? Which is fine. Oh, I love this one. That is so cute. Okay. So now here she is teaching the puppy. Actually, it looks like she's playing with them to me, but okay. So here she is training the puppy. So you get the idea. Same feel, same vibe, photo series. If you don't like it, just say, try again or make her happier or make her softer or make her clothes brighter. You know, you can play around with that, whoever you want, make her hair, give her short hair, give her long hair. And you can play around C. Now, the other thing I wanted to show you is if we go back to our Harpa down here, you also can use like comic book. This one says comic book heroine and sidekick. So I have found sometimes these comic book series can be really fun to play with. The only challenge I usually have with the comic book series. Oh, shoot. There's something on there. Okay, so let me try this instead. Um, we gave her the prompt. So right here, I'm going to say, make it a comic book. Let's see what it does with our existing, uh, make it a comic. Uh, yeah, let's just try that. So let me see what it does. Make it a comic. Let's see if it'll do it here. Sometimes it'll say it cannot run your prompt. Oh, I know why. See here where it says art details inked by Jim Lee with digital coloring. It's not going to allow that. So they've put in some fail safes to protect the artist. So you can't just take the artist's artwork. So all I would have to do is leave the same comic book directions in there, but take out where it says inked by Jim Lee. So it depends on what you're using, but ChatGPT 
has put in, I believe it's Dolly that has put in that protection, um, but it might be chat GPT to make sure that that doesn't happen. So look now, here's our comic strip. Look at this. Here's the doggy. She's giving it directions. She's telling it, do it like this. And she's showing him how to roll over and he's going, I did it. Doi. <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay. It, it struggles a little bit with text. Okay. Now the option with that is to say, do it again, or don't use text, or you can simply drop this image into Canva and make a change. It looks like this. I'm going to click down. I'm going to click the arrow down and I'm just going to put, um, let me, let me get the comic strip so I can find it. Okay. Now you come over here. We're going to open Canva and you may need Canva pro for this. I'm not hundred percent sure there. I did put a link below for a free 30 day trial if you need it. Okay, so then what we're going to do is I'm going to come over here and I'm just going to upload my new image, upload file, and we called that comic strip. Okay, and then we're just going to put that in there. So this is if you've really fallen in love with a comic strip um, or something that's got text in it, don't worry about sizing it to the image just yet. What you can do is you can actually come over here to edit photo, then I'm going to go to magic eraser. And I'm just going to erase that text right there. And it may take a couple times to get all the black out of there. So, oh, it nailed it. Okay. So now we're going to go back and now I'm going to click add a text. So I'm going to go to elements. Oh, go to text. And I'm going to click add a heading. And I'm going to put that heading right there. I'm just going to shrink it down to fit into the box. And then I'm going to say, because she said like this. And I'm. we could start off by saying try or hey Fido and then she says like this or I could say roll over that's probably better okay now I can play with that font to get it to match better by going here to the fonts and then you're going to play around with finding that dark black or comic strip Let's see if there's even a comic see, uh, we don't always know what that font is exactly oh here's one that's that one's not bad. Newt. Then we got lazy dog rollover. Okay. So you get the idea. And what I'm going to do is just make sure that that fits there. And so you could change all the words so that they match. So if you're ever having any problems with text, it's, it's, you can change it within Canva. The AI is getting better and better managing the text, but sometimes it will still, you know, we could change doy to joy or woohoo or something. Or it could just be a sound effect the dog is making. Or it could change it to bark or woof or something like that right there. Okay. So I think you've got the basics. You can play around with this as much as you want to. But that is how you use the use ChatGPT and Dolly to create text to image.